This is not an ordinary portrait. It's called The Fortunate Slave, and it was painted in 1734 by the English painter William Hall. On the surface, it might look like a typical English painting, but what's really special about it is that amongst all the paintings of famous English men and women of the 18th century, this is the very first in which the subject is black. And once you know the story of its subject, Ayuba Suleiman Diallo, you'll see what makes this painting extraordinary. Born and raised in eastern Senegal to a prominent Muslim family, Diallo was known for his great intelligence and memory from a young age. By the time he was 15, he had memorized the entire Qur'an and familiarized himself with the Maliki school of Islamic law. Unfortunately for Diallo, his life quickly changed from one of study and scholarship to the horror of slavery. Senegal was a major victim of the transatlantic slave trade and by the age of 30, he was captured, enslaved and shipped to the United States. Despite the cruelty and abuse he faced, Diallo remained devoted to his Islamic rituals, going into nearby woods to pray five times a day. After a child humiliated him and threw dirt in his face during prayer, Diallo decided to flee the plantation only to be recaptured and imprisoned. Diallo decided to write a letter from prison to his father in Africa. This letter was intercepted by James Edward Oglethorpe, the director of the Royal African Company and the founder of the American colony of Georgia. Upon reading it, Oglethorpe wrote that he was touched by Diallo's words and arranged that Diallo was to be freed and sent over to England. When Diallo arrived in 1733, he was greeted as a free man amongst the people of England. He made friends in the circles of the elite and would often debate with Christian priests and bishops. At a time known for its extreme racial prejudice, people were impressed with his intelligence, monotheistic beliefs and piety. Diallo was approached by William Hall to paint his now famous portrait. What makes this portrait significant is not just the presence of a black man, it's the way he's depicted. When people of African descent were painted in the 18th century, they were almost always shown in racist and demeaning ways. Facial features were exaggerated unnaturally, and they were never the subject of the painting, usually being reduced to the background as scary and inhuman figures. This portrait was the first to depict an African Muslim ex-slave as not only human, but noble. His posture and frontal direction were chosen to make him more likable, and his expression is pleasant, rather than evil or disturbed. However, what really stands out is the red book hung around his neck. This book is one of three Qur'ans Diallo had written purely from memory during his imprisonment. In many ways, this portrait sums up his incredible story. A profoundly religious West African man, enslaved and abused, who won respect and freedom from a society that believed he was inferior, and who throughout his years in slavery never lost pride in his identity as a black Muslim.